Hello, welcome back to Garden Obsessed. My name is Carla, and today we're talking dahlias, finally talking dahlias. Uh, you can see I have a couple couple of sort of arrangements um, beside me here, thrown in with some unicorn zinnias, which those are pretty in their own right. Um, but today it's all dahlia talk. So, I kept track this year for the first time. I always had like an idea of which ones I thought were kind of the early bloomers. Um, there's a handful that I feel like are always some of the first ones blooming. But this year I kept track and I kind of wanted to know too, I know I always start them around the same time, but I don't always keep track of that either. So, um, most of these were pulled out of the basement the first week of April to start warming up and start eyeing up. Um, the majority of these were potted between April 23rd and April 25th. I don't pot them until they have an eye or a sprout. So those would have been the ones they definitely had eyes and sprouts at that time. And I continued to pot them up as they developed eyes and sprouts. Um, those first ones potted, a lot of those broke the surface of the soil between May 1st and the middle of May. And the first dahlias, most of the dahlias, were planted in early June. So like the first two weeks of June. There are some that didn't get planted. A lot of the late ones or doubles that I had extras of, they didn't get planted until after I pulled the garlic out of the beds and had more room for them. So they'll be small. Some of them may not bloom. Um, this is the third year I've done that now and I just have to for space. So um, they weren't planted until the last week or so of July. But um, most of those, like I said, were doubles or ones that are really slow to sprout every year anyway. Uh, they were smaller in the pots and they were easier to hold over in the pots for that amount of time. So for what I think is <laughs> the first time ever, I have 17 varieties blooming in July. Um, there's more than that blooming now. We're about a week and a half into August here now. Um, but I really wanted to keep track of, you know, I don't usually have more than like a handful of blooms in July and to have 17 varieties blooming in July when the majority of the dahlias don't get going until mid-August um, or later, it's insane. We had like an incredibly warm early season this year. Um, I'm not gonna get my hopes up that this is gonna be like an every year thing, but um, I, it'll be interesting to see now that I'm keeping track if the same ones that are the early bloomers every year continue to be the early bloomers every year. So on July 11th in Zone 5 Canada, Nova Scotia, um, I had my first bloom and it was, it was undersized for sure. It was a Shiloh Jasmine. It was beautiful nonetheless. Some of these I have pictures for, most of them I have pictures for, but because everything was so early, I didn't really have my game on and some of the blooms, the early ones got like destroyed by earwigs because I just didn't have like my organza bags dug out and you know, I wasn't looking for them that early. So I kind of got caught by surprise, but I think I do have a picture of this one. Um, and if I do have photos or videos, I'll definitely throw them up and show you. The next one came on July 13th. There were two blooms that bloomed on July, or two different varieties that bloomed on July 13th. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, both were new tubers to me this year too, which was a surprise. A lot of times the ones that you buy, you know, in the current season, um, are a little slower to eye up because they've been usually stored a lot better than the ones that I've had at home, like have been stored in proper conditions. I store mine on the warmer side just because I don't have an option. So they were Cozy Town Bounty and Wine-Eyed Jill. Wine-Eyed Jill is one I had before and lost and I received it as a bonus tuber this year and was stoked because it's one I always really liked. 
Um, then on the 16th, we have a lone variety, which is Blight and Softer Gleam. That's one that I have noticed as an early bloomer, and I think I've had it for, it's one, it's one of my oldest dahlias, probably four or five years, and it is usually on the early train. Um, then we had on the 19th of July, one, two, three, four varieties bloom. Uh, the first one is Pooh. And I gotta tell you, Pooh is a dahlia that didn't really appeal to me, but it's one Jarrett really liked. We tried purchasing it um, a couple years ago and the tuber rotted. And so I saw it late, late this spring in um, a greenhouse and was like, I should get that for Jarrett. And lo and behold, it was one of the first bloomers. And I gotta tell you, once I saw the bloom in person, I don't actually mind it. it. It's not my favorite colors. It's red and yellow, hence the name Poo. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm rethinking the colorettes. They never, they didn't appeal to me before, but I think I might give a few of them a try. Um, then we have Linda's Baby. Linda's Baby, I think this is like the third or fourth season I've had it. It's always one of the very first. Um, if I had to pick one Dahlia to say as, a, as the earliest bloomer, it's probably the one I would pick. Treby Dainty is another one that decided to bloom this day. I think what works in its favor is it's a smaller Dahlia. It's one of the smallest ones I have. I don't know if it's technically a pompon. Um, it might be. I'm not sure. But um, it's definitely one of the smaller ones that I have. And another one is Lark's Ebb that I would say along with Linda's baby is always one of the first. It'd probably be my second pick for early bloomers. The very next day on July 20th, we had two more. Interesting, cause they're similarly colored as well. Um, Jowie Winnie and Caitlin's Joy. Um, I'll go ahead and throw up Jowie Winnie first. It has definitely been the more prolific um, and they're really big ball dahlias. Um, there have been, I think, at least three or four blooms on it since the 20th of July. Caitlin's Joy is the other one, and it has only had, I think, one bloom. And I think I have a photo. If I have a photo, I'll throw that up as well. At some point when they're blooming together the next time, which I should have taken a photo then, but I didn't, um, I kind of want to compare them side by side. The next day, on the 21st of July, we had Aubergine Bloom. It is one of only two anemones that I have. The other anemone is Mexico. Um, <clears throat> and Aubergine is my preferred between the two. Mexico, I'm debating maybe not growing next year. Um, I always change my mind once it starts blooming, but we'll see this year. I really want to cut back on some of the varieties so I can have more of some of the ones that I really like. Like it would be nice to be able to have three or four plants of some of my favorites and be able to have more, more matching ones in bouquets and stuff. Um, but I don't know. We'll see. The next day on the 22nd, Zundert Mystery Fox started blooming and it's an interesting color. I really like it. It's kind of, it, I don't know. It's not really a rust red. It's not really red. It's not really like corally pink. It's not really orange. Um, maybe, and you know, I think that's where the name comes from. It's kind of a chameleon. It can kind of look different colors and different lighting at different times of year. Um, but anyway, it, it's, it's definitely a keeper. I like that one. On the 25th, of July. We had another new to me this year. This was also a bonus tuber and I have nothing like it. It's so cool. Muchacha is what it's called. Um, it's, it's colors that I don't tend, I don't think I don't gravitate to them. I think there's maybe just fewer in those color ranges and, um, you know, I, I tend to like the ones that are known prolific bloomers or um, you know, popular cut flowers, like they have long, strong stems, stuff like that. And I'll, it seems to be that a lot of the colors or the 
color range of muchacha. They're not ones that come up for me when I'm looking for new tubers. So I was super stoked to have that one. It is pretty as heck. On the same day, we also had, this is a no ID one. I've been calling it bride to be. I know it's not bride to be. Um, it was, it was um, from a big box store the first year I started growing dahlias. I know better than that now. Um, but it's always a prolific bloomer. It's a white dahlia and I freaking love it. So I will continue to grow that one. Now, a few that squeaked in at the last minute. On July 30th, we had two. Castle Drive. Um, it's popular for a reason. She's a pretty girl. Um, it's quite a large dahlia and it has a lot of colors in it. So it goes with a lot of things. And the other one on the 30th of July was Wizard of Oz. There seems to be a lot of um, color variation with Wizard of Oz. And I know there's a Wizard of Oz light now as well. Um, mine is pretty dark pink, um, which I think I was mad about for five minutes when I first got it. But it is a really pretty pink and I do actually really enjoy it now. And then on July 31st, right under the wire, we have Sweet Love. Now, Sweet Love and Sweet Natalie are by no means exactly the same color, but they kind of give me the same feeling. And between the two, I probably like the coloring of Sweet Natalie a little better, although Sweet Love is gorgeous as well. It's a little pinker. Um, but sweet Natalie, dang that thing, clock faces. So it's not blooming yet this year. We're going to keep an eye on it. But if it, if it's, you know, as equally disappointing this year as it was last year, I think I'm cutting it and we'll double down on the sweet love. But those are the 17 dahlias <laughs> blooming so far, or not so far, but that bloomed before the end of July for me. Um, I think we'll do this video every year to um, check in and make sure some of our early bloomers are actually early bloomers. Like you never know if it's a fluke um, one year or not. And yeah, lots of exciting dahlias to come. So 17, that's about a third of what I have planted this year. So lots to still see. I hope you come back and enjoy those with me as they start blooming um i don't know when i'll do another one like this maybe maybe we'll do like you know what's blooming in my garden in a couple weeks or something like that and we'll show you the next batch that are blooming um yeah so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you come back i really do enjoy when you guys leave comments and you know we get to message back and forth some of you are regulars. I love chatting with you guys. Um, I'd love to hear how your season is going. Are you growing dahlias? What's your favorites? What ones do I need to get? I know I'm trying to cut them out, but you know, it's like a constant quest, right? Yeah, you, you replace some of the old ones with some of the new exciting ones. Uh, dahlias, there's a lot of drama this year with them, with a few of the... Um, breeders. I'm not getting involved in any of that nonsense. Um, and of course, diseases and viruses are always hot topics too. But they really, despite all of that, they really are still um, one of my biggest joys in the garden. So come back. I'd love to see you. We'll see you again next time.